it. I don't know what I'd do if I had to sit in a car in the kind of traffic that we have here. With a bike, the city opens up. With a bike, it becomes an entirely different experience living here. It's, 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 you really feel as though you're privy to a secret that others maybe will float through their entire lives and never have the experience of, of knowing. In a weird way, a, a, a motorcycle makes Los Angeles a very special place to live. There's an intersection that takes place between passion and execution. Just like in racing, you gotta have the passion, but you really gotta have the ability to execute. Same thing in food, and coffee for that matter, is you gotta have the passion, but you must possess the ability to execute. We thought it was that a cafe would be the perfect platform to sort of merge those sensibilities, and therefore we created Gasolina Cafe. And the idea of the cafe is that it's uh, it's aesthetically sort of leans into the idea of a, of a smaller motorcycle race shop, but instead of, uh, instead of tuning engines, you know, we build plates. We build plates and lattes, you know, that's what we do. And it also happens to be right at the mouth of one of the most popular roads for riding in the United States, right at the entrance to Mulholland Highway. You know, Alpine Stars, they've literally been there for me from the first day I went to a racetrack. It was, it was their race suit that was on my body and protecting me. It was, their, it was their boots that were on my feet. It was their gloves that were on my hands. I couldn't help but think it would be so cool to have Alpine Stars involved directly. You know, they'd always had an influence. They build me race suits. And so I, I called them up and I said, what do you think about building Sandra a chef's jacket. And they responded, yeah, let's do it. I said, look, the thing is, is that Nomex, which they use for their auto race suits, it's a great material, but it doesn't really breathe so well. And they said with her being in front of a stove top and grill top, it'll certainly be protective, but she's gonna get hot. What if we did some aprons for you guys? And of course, I said, that would be incredible. Cut to, I think it was even just like a weak turnaround. It was some radical turnaround. These two big boxes arrive at our house and they are in fact aprons that were hand built in Italy out of Nomex with our Gasolina Cafe logo embroidered and with a beautiful A star on one of the pockets, full factory treatment, you know? Let's run on the risk of sounding overly earnest or whatever. It just really reiterates that it's not just a relationship with some company. And to get something like that, it had a very significant impact on Sandra and I. When you have somebody that you respect, believe in you, it raises your own bar a little bit. They're willing to literally put their name next to yours. That means the world. What I've been able to bring to the table of Gasolina Cafe, really in a lot of ways, starts with my relationship to Alpine Stars. And then to have the freedom, if Sandra needs something, if the kitchen's short on something, to be able to hop on the bike and turn those sort of jaunts and hunts for product into an adventure, because our menu is mostly farm to table, right? So from the back of a bike, it all speaks to what our cafe is about. You know, for me, that's that's a great thing. So, <laughs> hey. oh, nice. To be able to ride to the cafe, get off the bike, hang out in the cafe, make sure everybody's okay, sit and have a cappuccino, visit with customers, without having to like peel out of my riding gear. For all intents and purposes, this is what I would wear anyway, right? So it doesn't look any different. 
than you know whether I'm on or off the bike. The Oscar line helps facilitate that, you know, because I'm no longer I'm no longer making the choice between garments that are representative of me as a man and garments that are representative of me as a rider.